This Maximo 7.6 training is brought to you by Bonetti, your trusted resource for reliability and enterprise asset management with IBM Maximo. In this Maximo workflow training, we will learn more about workflow in Maximo while going over some of the Maximo 7.6 workflow designer basics. I am Joe Russell, a certified reliability leader and principal consultant at Benetti, retired U.S. Navy engineer, as well as a 25-year practitioner of reliability for IBM Maximo. The Maximo workflow component is one of the most powerful tools available to support your best business practices, processes, using the IBM Maximo 7.6 application suite. Today we will look at the workflow designer application and its basic components to build a simple workflow for this demonstration. For this session I will be logged into IBM Maximo as a system administrator. It is important to note that depending upon the Maximo add-ons you have as well as your security group settings you may see slightly more or fewer options in your system than I will be showing you today. After I log into Maximo I will select the administration tab on my start center and under the workflow configuration I will select workflow designer I will now select new process icon for the workflow process to be developed as you can see the first tab has basic information. You will need to give your process a unique name and a description. You'll need to click on the icon beside the object field. This will provide you a list of available objects to choose from. In Maximo you can develop workflow on any object you require to control a process. In this demo we're going to select item. At this point I'm going to save the record. To be clear, creating a workflow process involves the following phases. Designing the process, building the workflow process, validating that process, enabling the process, and activating the process. The most critical and time-consuming part is the designing of the process. I cannot emphasize this enough. Remember that the workflow should be designed to support the way you do business, not the other way around. I will now select the Canvas tab. The Canvas is a drag and drop application where you can add any combination of nodes to build the workflow. By default, Maximo will add a start and a stop node. We will start by describing the capabilities of the node types. Start node. 
indicates the point when the record starts a workflow process. When you create a process, a single start node displays on the canvas. Each process can have only one start node. You cannot delete a start node. Task node indicates when a user is to be given an inbox assignment. The user has two choices. For example, the user can either approve a record or reject a record. Use task nodes when your business process requires that a user evaluate a record. Create a task node assignment that routes a record to one or more individuals. Workflow comes to a stop at the task node until the assigned user has routed the record. You can also set up escalations based on elapsed time frames to include reassignments and email notifications. Condition node indicates an evaluation of the record based off of data in the record. Use a condition node to enable a true evaluation or a false evaluation of a record and then direct the record based on that evaluation. When a condition node is used, it evaluates the record based off of standard query languages that are defined in the properties of the node. You can use the SQL Expression Builder tool to create SQL statements. The Manual Input node indicates the need for a user input because there are multiple directions that a record can take in a process. Use a manual node to have the assignee decide what will happen next. When a manual input node is used, a window displays. The manual input window contains a menu of options for routing the record. When the assignee selects an option, any actions or notifications associated with that option are triggered. Subprocess node indicates that a separate workflow process is contained within another workflow process. You use subprocess nodes to break down a complicated business process into smaller, self contained units. For example, you could have a subprocess that handles records in different sites or that handles different classes of work orders. When a record encounters a stop node within a subprocess, it is returned at the same point where it left the main process and on the routing line exiting the subprocess node. Wait node indicates that the progress of a record through a process pauses until a required condition is met. Use a wait node to create a reaction to a database element, such as a status change or a record update. A process can have one or more wait nodes. You do not need to include wait nodes in a process. A wait node cannot precede a node that requires user interaction, such as an interaction node or a manual input node. Interaction node provides an option for a user's interaction with a record. 
use interaction nodes to guide a user through a structured interaction with a record. A process can have one or more interaction nodes. You do not have to include interaction nodes in a process. A manual input node precedes an interaction node. If an interaction node leads into an application not related to the object on the process record, place a stop node after the interaction node. The original process shuts down as the new record displays. Stop node. Stop node marks the end of a workflow process. That is the point where a record leaves control of the process. When you create a process, a single stop node is placed on the canvas. Use the stop node tool in the palette to place additional stop nodes on the canvas. I use this to organize the workflows just to make them more manageable. It is good practice to give all nodes unique titles and descriptions during the build process. This will make it easier to identify nodes on the screen to what they do in your process. An example would be a task node. By default, Maximo will list it as task 1, 2. It would be better to identify it like soup one. This would be a supervisor's first task in a process. The description would be supervisor review submitted record. Connection lines. The next step is to connect the nodes with positive or negative lines. To add a positive line, you hover over the node, right click, drag your line, to the next node and release. To do a negative line, you click on Control, right click, and drag it to the node. As you can see, positive lines are black, negative lines are red. All connect lines can include actions you create, like change status. Also, you can add notifications send an email. You can also add an expression to correspond with that action. There are a number of applications that can be utilized and some have to be utilized prior to creating a workable workflow. They include some of the following applications. Roles, person groups, actions, escalations, communication templates, contact setup, email listener, automation scripts. Depending on your needs, the workflow can be as simple or as complicated as required. Once you have completed your workflow process, the next step is to perform a validation on that process. This is under Common Actions. Maximo will evaluate your process to include the structure. Within the validation process, Maximo will provide pop-up error messages that must be corrected. And each message will tell you what the problem is. Other actions include the enable process, the activation process, sub-processes only need to be enabled, to be included in a parent workflow. The main workflow must be activated before records can be processed. You'll also need to add a workflow to a specific application that will use them. You have an option 
to auto-initiate a workflow process when the record is saved the first time. Or you can leave it as a manual start. The final tab in the workflow designer gives you a table view of the nodes and the actions of the workflow process. I hope this Maximo 7.6 workflow training helps you become more comfortable with IBM Maximo and the Maximo Workflow Designer Application Basics. If you still have questions, please contact us at info at